Hello and welcome to Mint. This is Malvika Joshi and in this edition of From the Newsroom we are joined by PR Sanjay. Hi Sanjay, welcome to the show. According to Air India's internal estimate, the airline may cut down its losses by 43% this fiscal. Sanjay will tell us how the airline plans to do this turnaround. So Sanjay, on what basis is uh, Air India estimating its losses? Hi, uh, there are a lot of uh, parameters over here. Uh, see, uh, first of all, uh, um, Air India is planning to uh, get some money by monetizing its real estate assets, and uh, the uh, oil prices are being, you know, like slightly is cooling off. Mm -hmm. Of course, rupee impact is, you know, ad adversely impacting the carrier, and they have actually stopped, virtually stopped, uh, you know, recruitment, fresh recruit uh, recruitments, barring licensed carrier, which is pilots and engineers, and uh, they have inducted uh, the dreamliners uh, so you know you get more uh, numbers which were earlier not meeting the cost now started making money uh, and they are selling off their triple seven uh, aircraft and they have also appointed uh, the real estate consultant DT said uh, who will uh, help them to sell and monetize at least 108 properties including some of the international uh, you know properties they have in Japan and other places mm -hmm. so there are various uh, you know parameters where this, this is a, a kind of an estimate uh, where uh, this will this is expected to make this kind of uh, thing based on various assumptions so you know the largely the ideas by uh, you know putting increasing the efficiency by uh, getting uh, uh, you know dreamliners and uh, you know cutting cost and finding more revenue generation measures uh, such as uh, uh, like uh, non ancillary revenues by uh, advertising uh, increasing the cargo uh, stuff like very much acting like a private carrier uh, for like for example like a jet Airways, they're actually literally following a jet Airways or uh, indigo for that matter and they are also discontinuing various loss making routes ditto like uh, jet Airways. so uh, what are the analysts saying is this estimate believable and uh, what should uh, air india really do to bring down its losses there are two uh, you know answers to it you know largely when uh, we we are coming out with this kind of uh, estimates uh, analysts were they are telling that you know this is not workable and you know last time when we were doing a story i still remember an expert telling that there is a gross uh, inactivity at the uh, airline but for a change uh, you know now a group of a section of analysts are telling that this is doable because largely uh, they got at least 1000 crore savings by recasting their loan mm -hmm. and they got a huge uh, you know 30000 crore worth of uh, equity support uh, long term that's for uh, 10 years but you know they got some immediate equity infusion and uh, you know you shouldn't forget that in Kingfisher is no no more it's virtually grounded since November so you get that kind of a passengers as well and there are less number of uh, you, know, you know planes coming into the market so supply is less and demand is uh, slightly more when when you actually supplies goes down you get kind of advantage but uh, another section of uh, experts are telling us that you know uh, you can expect strike at any point of time because it's a national carrier uh, and the culture need to be changed and there are a lot of other issues by integrating the salaries of uh, you know erstwhile Indian Airlines and uh, erstwhile Air India now the both merged into one company to Air India Limited and they are also you know spinning off uh, their uh, ground handling and engineering units so one will have to wait and watch uh, you know what kind of a turbulence with the Air India face as a uh, PSU in, in the future right uh, recently Mr. Ajit Singh uh, said that Air India is doing well but it needs to do a lot more so do you think that these uh, estimates that they are uh, giving out is probably to just impress the government uh, not really uh, the thing is that you know uh, uh, government has sanctioned a bailout package of 30,000 crore uh, for 10 years. Mm -hmm. So it is not that uh, government will just give 30,000 crore to Air India. So there is an oversight committee mm -hmm. which is constituted under the aegis of uh, Finance Ministry, uh, uh, Civil Aviation Ministry and part of Air India as well. So the uh, Air India will have to qualify themselves for equity infusion. Now they got an immediate equity infu uh, upfront equity infusion on the government. For the next uh, all equity infusion they will have to, uh, you know, say for example they will have to, you know, achieve a load factor, a seat occupancy of 70 percent mm -hmm. if they are going below it they will not get it so uh, uh, this 4250 crore uh, network uh, net loss estimate Air India is forced to do it so Air India has no way but to do it but uh, by uh, but uh, uh, by anyways they will have to they will maybe going for a wage cut mm -hmm. they may be uh, you know discontinuing the loss making route they will be selling the planes they will be selling you know Nariman point building whatever they will do they will have to adhere to the those kind of uh, qualifying parameters set forth by OC, that is Oversight Committee, which is headed by Finance Ministry. Right. Thanks a lot, Sanjay. The ticket prices are certainly moving up, which is good news for the airlines. At the same time, we also hear that the number of passengers traveling is also going down. 
in this scenario, we really need to see if Air India is really able to cut down its losses. For more updates, log on to livemin.com.